That was Magus. Stencil is a good shout, that's all I'm saying. Here's my other controller. Someone was using it. Probably me. It was me. Yeah, when I was doing Shining Force. Thank you very much for the luck, guys. So yeah, I'm just going to let the intro play through for a little while. This is why um, doing 100% um, run attempts is, can be quite annoying because you have to wait like a million years every, every time you reset. Hangover? No, I didn't drink. So I just got a little bit of uh, I actually need to hear this audio cue to be honest, so let's turn this up. Is it mean if I ask what is your estimate? Second. Uh, it's 240 by Goose because he doesn't want want me to go over, so I'm going to. I'm, I I, I want to make it 220. I want to make it 220 just so I can get get below it. Yeah, it's 100. Okay, so the time can officially start uh, when I. Um, thank you. Uh, when I select it, so I'm going to go with a button type two, which allows me to mash with the A button, although it doesn't do anything in the actual game anymore because we switch we switch attack to B and item to Y from the regular B and A. Um, in three, two, one, go. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday, Bowie! <laughs> <laughs> one day so, um, Will went on an, ex an expedition a little while ago with his father, and he, he didn't come back. He doesn't, he doesn't know how he did. I'm just going to focus so I can get this manip manipulation right, and I'll explain it as I go. There we go. Uh, I think I was maybe slightly late. We'll find out if I was. But um, if we are, I'm just going to have to take uh, like, like a million years to get it normally. But that should be alright. There it is. Cool. So I got the, I got, I got the jewel early. Um, so yeah, we, as I said, we waited to a particular part in the intro um, to press start. And then I moved into the house at the right musical note. And the, and the fisherman was already there. Um, so yeah, um, this, this is an action RPG, top down, uh, j uh, this is the second in the Soul Blazer series, uh, Soul Blazer being the first one, this, and then Terra Enigma. Um, I, Terra Enigma I think is the best in the Soul Blazer series, but, th but this is my favourite I think, in terms of like just kind of sitting down and casually playing now and then, um, although Terra Enigma is probably, probably better in every single way, but um, that's a different story for a different time. Um, the key thing about this speedrun, and why it's perhaps the hardest speedrun I do, is that it's incredibly optimised and it's um, incredibly hard to input because every single dash that you see I'm doing in running is a, is a double tap. There's no button to run in this game. Um, so every single time I change direction, every single time I um, want to position myself, I'm running. And it's a double tap every single time. Which is good, it's good fun. Um, the mic's in the way, so you can't really see um, it as it goes, because I know that sometimes hand cam is a good one for this one, but still. So what happened is, obviously we went to go see our mates down in the uh, waterfront cave, and they said, and uh, we were playing some cards, gambling, as you know, 14, 15 year old kids do. Um, and we were told by one of the by one of the guys that um, a princess had, had escaped from the castle, and that was her. Uh, she had just been picked up by by the guards or the soldiers to go back, and uh, we spent the rest of the evening all right. Then the next day we hang out with our grandparents because obviously Will hasn't got any parents anymore because um, his father went missing, and we don't know anything about about his mum. There's a letter saying that Will needs to bring the, a, the crystal ring. 
to the nearby castle, so that's what we'll do. So, we'll then make our way to the castle, I think. Sounds like a, like a good idea, right? There are a couple of things that you can do um, in this game, so you can, you can a a actually do the input menuing a little bit early. Um, and also if you hold down the start button in this thing, instead of having to watch the, the map zoom out and then zoom back in, you can skip that entire animation. Okay, so I'm going to speak to Kara, um, and then I'm going to speak to the uh, soldier who's going to throw us out, um, which is a nice little fast way of doing that. Um, and then I'm going to run up behind this pillar, which is a nice quick way of doing that. And then, um, I, that was a bit of a bad menu. You're, you're supposed to say no, and King and King Edward's like, You didn't bring the ring? Fuck you, into, into, into prison you go. If you say yes, he has to go, go on then, show me. Oh, you haven't got it? Fuck you, In, into prison you go. So, um, a little bit of time added on. Uh, you want to check the bars, the moss, and the chain and ball. So there's a couple of tricks you can do in this game. Go for it, it's fine, go, go, go. Um, where you can run, and then if you let go of the button, and then press a, a, a another button, and then continue your run, you can, you can run whilst guarding, which is called iframe guarding. Or, I, or guard dashing, rather. But you do it on an iframe. How many hands do I hold in this game? What do you mean, twerk it? Yeah, I only use switch grip to mash like that, and then I don't really play with my. Um, don't really tend to play the actual main game with a. Uh, my index and middle finger. We actually stand here and pick that up early. Um, a bit more mashing. Mashing's really good in this game because it's got the majority of text. Not all of it, but the majority of text is um, like super fast. As you're going to see when I speak to um, Pig here. Hamlet, that's super quick text. And then every time you get a key item, it takes like a million years. But what's also cool is we've got a very um, responsive menu. My word. The um, flickering on the TV is going to kill me there. That was a bad menu because of that. Okay. Bobby, please. I'm just going to take a hit and run through that guy with the iframes. So one of the important things I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing what's called um, orb cancelling. So there are certain enemies that when you kill them, they release an orb that basically blows up um, a blocked pathway, and then you can basically run past it um, by menuing, and then, re and then by opening the menu and closing the menu, the um, the effects already take place. So I can menu, use a key, use a reggie, and then run through a block. It allows me to manage my inventory because um, there's only 16 spaces um, in the inventory. So um, you want to um, nice. You want to basically be able to n never run out of space. I got really, um, basically, I also skipped the spear there. The spear can drop before you get through it and it, you lose seven seconds. So getting the spear drop there was very, very good. You can kind of manipulate it to always be late by waiting where I waited. You do lose time rather than kind of going for it. Yeah, 100% is uh, all 50 red jewels are that I will be picking up. Count to three and... What's really cool about this game is um, Will, um, since going on the ex expedition, somehow has these psychic powers. 
Um, and he can use those for many different things. So obviously I can do things like, oh god, I can um, obviously like use uh, this like, he can spin his um, flute to kind of bring items in close. But you can also enter these dark spaces, um, spaces between, you know, the, the regular realm and the ethereal realm. And you can meet Gaia, um, the head at the back, that's Gaia, Mother Gaia as it were. And you can speak, and you can basically transform into other characters. So this chap on the left here, Freedan, uh, Freedan is like a dark knight, and uh, Will can use his dark powers to um, transform, which changes a few of his options that he has. So um, Freedan has longer reach; he's uh, stronger by one attack point, and that's about it. Um, but it also allows us to do certain things. So I could get through that little thing there by attacking and then continuing my run. And then the noise that is made over the little spike ball means that I can run through it. So, we Gucci. That's annoying. Taking that hit was not handy. Go. Go, 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 go. You got time? Never mind. Didn't get any health, that, 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 that's annoying, but we can deal with it. So at the end of every, every single dungeon, you will transform from uh, Freedan um, in, back into Will at any point. So you can only be outside of dungeons as Will. Um, I'm going to do a jump attack into that moment. I, I was a bit bad, I did it quite early, but if you jump attack into um, that key point, you can kind of end up further up the screen. So you just save some frames running. Uh, but a sub 10 is good for that. Speak to uh, Kara. Basically, when we went to go see her during the day, she was like, let's get out of here, but we can't do it right now. Come back later. So we come back obviously at night, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna pick up a large, yummy roast leg of yak, which is gonna help us on our journeys for sure. Everything's ready. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So we're going to leave the village and go back to South Cape. Um, this is set in a kind of other version of Earth again, kind of like Terranigma is. So this is, South Cape is technically Cape Town um, in South Africa. So Brings back memories, yes. Oh, plenty. We go back home and find out that Will, Will's house has been ransacked. And Will's all, Grandpa Bill, Grandma Lola, where are you? There's this strange, curious poster on the wall. Can I get into the right, right position, please? Thank you. And uh, turns out that, um, well, there's this random flower that comes in and turns into a woman that we obviously met at the beginning of, at the end of the dungeon. Um, but she's taken Grandpa Bill and Grandma Lola to, it to Itari Village, uh, which is her village. She managed to get them out before this random um, assassin slash, I don't know, guy called the Jackal um, found them. Trying to remember who the Jackal is. Um, the game won't tell you for a long time, so. The Jackal's important, that's what you need to know. So, um, the reason we don't menu again to change our equipment is because we do have to use this here. So we like to, uh, equip ourselves with the, um, with Lola's melody, so we can play it. So obviously, Will has a flute that he uses to bash people around the face with. So we will use a variety of songs over the course of the run. When I by variety, I mean two. There are more than two you can pick up, um, but we only use two because some of them are for puzzles, some of them are um, just standalone stuff. So There's Grandpa Bill and Grandma Lola, thank you very much for there. So I ran, I went to go pick up the jewel, then I ran into the house and out, because it brings the girls all the way over to the right-hand side, rather than having, having to wait for them to run round or walk round to the outside, which just saves a little, little bit of time. 
So because it's a marathon run, I'm going to save the Dark Gaia, Dark Gaia, or sorry, Dark Gaia, real Gaia. Um, she also heals all of your HP, so thank you to Gaia. <coughs> Only Young Will can use it. Okay, so basically when you go into certain Dark Gaia, or Gaia spaces, Dark spaces, you'll see um, some statues with like, like a little light around them. If you grab those, you'll get a skill. Um, will and Freedown have three skills each. I will be getting four out of six skills. Because that's all I need. So the first one, it kind of introduces you to the concept of type of charging. It's, this is a very Zelda-like idea where you're supposed to check the wall to see where you can break. But it's right here, so it's all good. So we got Incan Statue So we need, we need to collect a couple of Incan Statues there because they're going to help us solve a riddle in a nearby ruins. Um, so basically, Will and Co are going on a an, on an adventure to ruins to kind of figure out what's going on in the world because there are a few things that have been happening and it's not it's not all good. They also just like to treasure hunt I guess and check out some nearby ruins as you would. Yeah, some of the some of the message speed is crazy fast and some of it is damn slow. So again, holding down start to skip the map. That, when I did my first run, I didn't know about that. <laughs> so uh, it actually uh, saved a lot of time. So this is a pretty tough thing. This is the M Moon Tribe trial. And you get 20 seconds to um, kill six enemies. Start with a charge, because the Psycho Dash does a lot of damage. That was a really good one. 10 seconds. That was fantastic. Nice. Really good. You can get sub-15 sub on the second Incan statue, but um, that was a very, very good trial, though. Double, a double digits on trial is fantastic, so I'll take it. So we were done with the Moon Tribe camp, and uh, Lily's like, okay, well, then, let, then let's go to the Incan ruins. Let's see what we can find. Um, I took one hit, which is fine. There's a high chance of getting an HP drop in this next dungeon, and also a low chance of me taking a hit. So, there is that, I guess. I blame that save. You would have moved up a spot if you did not save. Okay, so. On to our first dungeon, the Incan, or sorry, the, oh yeah, the Incan Ruins, that's just called the, the Larai Cliffs, but I'm going to start by charging here, um, I'm going to be using a couple of charges here and there, just to kind of get rid of things, I'm going to kill this dude on the left, I'll explain why in a second, and I'm going to do another charge here and use this as I move through. Um, what's really cool about, about this game is that when you clear all the enemies in a, in, in a screen, that's how you get your stat ups, clear all enemies in one screen, and you get either attack, defense, or HP. Um, I'm going to skip all that, because I don't really need to do that. The game's got a nice little way of making up for your missed stats, which is pretty cool. So I found the diamond shaped block. So I killed this, um, this like, four-headed thing earlier, because um, there's a block underneath this guy. You don't actually need to kill him to do it. You just have to kind of let go of it. But if the guy on the left was um, still alive, he would be able to hit me with, with his needles. So I, d I don't want to take free hits, so I just get rid of that. Gonna, you're going to do an iframe guard just here um, to get past that. That was, a very, that was very close timing from HS there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, there's, again, another cool thing you can do in this game. This game isn't, like, massively glitchy. But it does have a few mechanics abuses, which are really, really cool. Um, they kind of don't break the game, as it were. I was thinking about it, about any percent. But if I do a jump attack into the bottom frame of that, you get the momentum as if you'd run all the way down the slope from the top. So normally you'd have to run around to the right, up the stairs, and run down the slope. But you can just run up, up, up to the slope, bottom edge, dash attack into it, and then you, or sorry, jump attack into it, and then you get your uh, momentum, which kind of saves a few seconds. If you fail it twice, it's gonna, you're going to start losing time. So you've got to be quick on getting it. 
going to pick up this herb here. As a young, as, as a young boy growing up in, in England, seeing you obtained an herb was the most infuriating bit of grammar I'd ever read it in a video game. Um, so, even to this day it still stresses me out, but it's a different story. So it did, this is a very geometric run, in a way. Um, all the kind of rooms that we're going to be going through, we're going to be running in kind of optimal ways and cutting out as much space as possible to... Uh, Kind of minimise the the distance we have to run. Here, here, yeah. yeah. How British am I? Um, fairly, fairly British. So this is there is a massive um, puzzle in this dungeon where you have to go and go to another a whole whole other area and get a spa a flute song that basically makes this this tile that I'm standing on here light up. Now you don't actually need to light it up to get the effect by standing on it. It just opens the door. So we can skip pretty much the entirety of this dungeon that has um, the uh, the thing in it. So actually, I did a I did do a big skip actually that I kind of didn't talk about. But I was running into that um, statue head and attacking it. Will shouldn't be able to hit that, but you can when you do a run a, a, a dash attack into it. So it's all good. Okay, so first boss. This is cast off. This can be done in one cycle. I'll see if I can give it a go. It requires about 20 frame perfect inputs and good RNG as well. I got hit. I don't know where I got hit, but I got hit. I felt a bit awkward. I did feel I was a little bit too high, honestly. <sighs> right, let's do this again perfectly, shall we? So the reason I stopped running into the stat into the little square there is if you walk into the square you can hold up and go straight through the door. If you run into it you'll go on to go over to to the ladder. My god, just a little bit, there we go. I can't input my mice my quick movement anymore. Fuck, I got hit. That was that was close to being a one cycle. That was a good five second one. Um, unfortunately, it was the, it was the it was the bad RNG. Uh, if the second crystal does not go more vertically than horizontally, you can't get get the one cycle like you saw there. Um, but yeah, so I think it's I can't I can't remember the exact amount of uh, frames it is for each of three down attack cycles, but you want to be inputting that nigh on perfectly. Um, it's about twenty frame per perfect, perfect inputs, give or take like a couple of frames, but it doesn't have to be like actually twenty bang on frame perfect. But you have about a three or four frame window across the entire twenty inputs to get perfect. How much time does it actually save for one cycle? Uh, pfft, about 17, 8, 20 seconds, something like that. So a free world record if you do is what you're saying? Uh, no. La Hulk is quite good at this game. <laughs> he's the only one in the world with, with a sub 2 in any, in any percent, and he's got a 213, I think, for 100%. Everyone else is like a 215, 217. I think my, I, I'm 217, 21, which is uh, a good chunk slower than him. And the, and the thing is, is like, it's not, it is noticeable, of course it is, but like, it's very minor across every single screen. Like, he's about a half second to a second faster in like the majority of the, of the screens. And it adds up to a lot more. But, uh, 
it's quite scary. And unless we find like anything major, I think Hulk kind of put down the any percent category at least. I think the same for 100% to be honest. But the thing about Quintet games is they're generally quite well made across the board, so there's not major, major, major skips or huge glitches in so at least the Soul Blazer series that I know of. It is 100%. So let's grab that. Yeah, this is a super tough run. This is. I mean, Hulk's. I don't. I don't. Don't think Hulk will ever be touched. Unfortunately. Um, Mm-hmm. You can call me a pessimist if you if you wish, but you can have a look at at the quality of that run. Um, I obviously it is possible to do better, but um, I don't know. Uh, the thing about this run is that it's very um, because it's so input intensive. It's very easy to kind of you know burn out on it as opposed to other runs. I find like despite the fact that the RNG and something I like Terra Enigma is bullshit, I don't get. I don't find myself getting as much burnout in a day's of run in a day's worth of runs as I do with this. But I have been running this game for a lot longer than I have Terranigma, so that, that that might be something to do with it. Well it's also that the one hour of Terranigma you keep playing is fifty percent health sleep. There's that as well, yeah. This is a nice this is all about story triggers, just knowing where your story triggers are. Um, that's really good for RNG, I wish I got that. Go for it, you're good. This is just 30 seconds worth of um, not of just waiting. Um, so I was talking about obviously the, the upgrade system. You'll see that I've got a few more dots underneath my name. Whenever you defeat a boss, you get every single um, upgrade, attack, defense, HP um, that you missed up to that point. The, 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 the reason being is that if you didn't, you would not be able to complete this game. Um, so the game developers knew that if players missed things, they would they might find themselves in very difficult positions. So they gave the upgrades um, for um, bosses, which is a very very nice thing to do. It means we can speed through everything and still be strong enough on the on, on the, other, the, the other the other end. Amazing for Sharon G. Ideally, you want like four fish coming in immediately, um, not one, 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 one. Come on, fish! Give me the little silver fish. Oh, I missed it. This is one of the few screens in the game that doesn't have the HUD because if you look at the stars, there's one that's red in the center. That's a uh, that's important for a a, a a puzzle. That's what I'm looking for coming up. Again, this is just waiting. The shark's gonna go around for a little bit, and then they get bored and piss off, and then all's well. And then we are done. We've been uh, we've been adrift for so long that Will gets scurvy and he cracks over one, and uh, we move on. This is Free Gyre. Um, Free Gyre is uh, has got a bit of plight all its own. Um, we're going to find out that Will is not as good a guy as we think he is. Uh, Will is a bit of a dickhead, as uh, many instances in this game will show. Um, so look out for those. Uh, there's a bit of a slave trade going on in Free Gyre. We're going to go to the uh, back alley here and see that there's a, a chap in a purple um, outfit 
um, you know, peddling slaves. Go for it. Okay, time to get out of here. Um, before we go though, we're going to just run into this little place here and uh, speak to this chap. He's like, don't tell me where they are. Don't tell them where I am, rather. Uh, he's a slave hiding out. He, he escaped from the slave traders um, and doesn't want to be... Uh, doesn't want to be uh, told where he is. So, oh, that, that guy on the right, by the way, gave me a, a red jewel. Obviously, I want red jewels. I want them at every single opportunity. So I'm going to go and tell those slave traders where, the, where that guy was hiding. Please don't tell him where I am. Uh, that's exactly what I do, because I want some jewels. Nice guy will. The best hero. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Also, Eric, our mate, got captured by some slaves, so we thought we'd break down down the door and they piss off sharpish. Um, and then we save him, and then we run to a nearby mine to go and save some more slaves. Because we, we sell them out so we can save them. So, um, so we, we can save them. So we can, so, so we can feel good about ourselves. Um, you can say Freesia. It probably is Freesia. I just say Freesia. I always have since I was a kid, so that ain't changing anytime soon. Uh... The diamond mine. This is a this is a really cool um, level to learn and run at lower level, but at higher level, it's really really tricky um, and very annoying. You need to kind of look for the tiniest bits of um, movement from enemies and be able to kind of squeeze in between gaps to be very 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 fast. Uh, yeah, this is this is a great level in terms of doing all the speed strats. So release the uh, psycho dash there. Ah, uh, see, there's one that I missed, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm gonna attack this guy here. I'm gonna hold my charge. I'm gonna release it as this guy spawns. I took a hit somehow, apparently. Bullshit. Disagree with that. Uh, this is really bad so far. Let's go for it. Go for it. Go now. Yeah, the sausage definitely needs a So I'm not going to attack. I'm going to um, I'm going to attack here. So he goes um, into square, and I also can also start. Uh, he goes and he goes into stone. Oh my God, England, please. And uh, thank you very much, Ipsy. It's two on two hours forty is the estimate because I haven't gone out, I haven't gone underestimate once this entire event. So um, everyone's pitying me. As they rightly should. <sighs> Come on, thank you. Uh, I have taken a shit ton of hits, so um, I'm in danger now, but I'm going to be doing. Um, oh, crikey, that was a. Close one. This guy's going to be an absolute jockey. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay. I've got to be careful now. I've got to slow down a little bit so I can be careful. And I got the heal. Such a dickhead. A biddy? What do you mean? What's a biddy? Um, so this is kind of like a, an interesting thing to uh, note, is that when you have a skill that you can learn, by touching that statue to learn the skill, the game auto transforms you into that character who has the skill. And we'll, we'll be abusing that to good effect. So now Freedan gets his own skill that he can charge to use. This is a long range uh, projectile that deals the same amount of damage um, as Psycho Dash. So it's quite strong. And it's long range. Good. Using the, uh, using the uh, dash attack. Um, or like the, sorry, the continuation dash attack. I can actually, you know, move and keep that going. But I've had a bit of a a mare here trying to get through there, so let's not worry about that. <sighs> okay, I mean, I'll take that to be honest. That's completely fine with me. So, 
Sounds about right, Kazan. Yeah, that is pretty much how it goes. So, we're going to Death Warp back to the start, which is, is intentional. So I haven't really talked too much about Death Warping. Um, that's kind of the first time I properly do it, anyway. If you look at, at the top center of the uh, screen, you'll see on the HUD it says DP, zero with a heart, and zero. Um, on the right hand side, every time, every time I pick up one of those little um, jewels uh, that, that, that the enemies drop, um, that number increases. When I get to 100, I get a heart. If I die when I have a heart, it will respawn me in the room I died. But, and that's good for like a casual playthrough so you don't lose progress. But for a speed run, that's not so handy. So we, we risk it, basically. We never get any DP. Um, when you die, you basically go back down to zero uh, of your current number on the right. Um, and I basically risk it so that hopefully I don't ever die. Um, and when I do want to die, I can death warp. There is the risk, though, that if you do die, you lose a shit ton of time. But thankfully, because this game is very uh, marathon safe in that if you do die, you don't lose the run. You just lose, like... I mean, the worst you can probably die in is perhaps here. Um, but when, uh -huh. Before you get the, the key um, to, the, to the, uh, the, the elevator key, if you die there, before you get that, that's perhaps the worst death you can take in the entire speed run, and that'll be about, I don't know, a minute or two. <laughs> Yeah, old, old, old biddies um, is an English term for old women. There's a, a small little trick you can do with Sam there by jumping, uh, jump attacking onto him and kind of bouncing off while still getting the conversation. So th this, this is the second song I've actually learnt for the purposes of, of the run. Um, I kind of missed something, uh, intentionally I guess, because it wasn't really really relevant, you, you completely skip all the kind of narrative reason why we come here as well, uh, outside of trying to free the slaves, that is, is that um, when we first entered Freejire, um, Kara went off with that dude into a hotel because he said that um, he found someone, and he basically, he come and, come and see your friends, basically. And in the nearby hotel, um, Lily and Lance are there, and Lance has lost his memory. Amazingly, um, Sam, the slave, has a song of memories, which restores memories. So, thank you very much, Sam. I'll save you. You can teach me a song, and I can sing it to save my ginger friend. And then I will tell everybody where you're hiding. Exactly. It's just a sprite, isn't it? They don't really have time to have multiple sprites for things. What is this place? Somehow I feel a little homesick. I, wonder, I feel like I'm back in the womb. Everything that's happened and the people I've met are pouring into my head. I was raised in the town of South Cape. When my father didn't come back from an expedition, the most important thing in my life was gone. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't stand my father using soldiers to invade other countries. It's awful when someone loses their life. What had taken years to put together was destroyed in one moment. I wonder if Seth is alright. People live on because they forget about unpleasant things. Quite a short little um, cutscene, everyone just remembering certain things about themselves, how they feel. There we are. There we are. So we're going to leave Freejire with our crew in tow, we're going to go see Neil in his cottage. Um, Neil's a beast, he's currently uh, creating a flying machine, but he hasn't perfected it yet. He's basically basically Da Vinci, but he's not. Leonildo. 
Now the burgers as well, like, I think they actually put the onions on there, even though I wrote they shouldn't, so that's I think that's good. Go for it. And biscuit for the biscuit. Go for it, it's just cutscenes. <laughs> Will remembers nothing, he is just an empty vessel. Yeah. So after successfully talking to all of Neil's um, inventions, he's like, let's go to the uh, nearby place of Nazca. If you remember yesterday we visited Nazca, we are back once again. You only, only need to speak to Lily there. So you go, Kara, Lily, Kara. And then you can run down to the southwest and there'll be a little character waiting for you. The Moon Tribe Camp. Now, I'm going to try and position myself perfectly. Nah, you can't do it. Uh, you, there's a, there's a, basically, you can run straight through the center of uh, Lily and Lance and Kara. You can run through if your positioning is pixel perfect. The thing is about this game is, as I was mentioning recently, the whole... Um, I mentioned, I must have mentioned before about soft and hard pixels, like certain pixels you'll get stuck on and some you slide around. Uh, NPCs have hard pixels and like bits of the, you know, the stage walls and stuff, they all have soft pixels. Um, so there was the puzzle which needed the stars to be put into, into place. This is the positioning where the red star was, there is no stone there, so we have to go and check it. And uh, suddenly... Something's coming down, and Will gets transported to another place and time. Goes to the Sky Garden. Pretty cool level, this one. Um, really good stuff generally happens. Got some great tech across the board in this in this dungeon. Yeah, the music is also fairly Craigasm, yeah. So I've equipped the uh, orb so I can pop crystal balls into uh, these spaces as we go. Um, I'm going to go, obviously be going from right to left, I start on, on the right, why would I want to go to any other place first? Again do the jump glitch to move on there. Got a lot of uh, got a lot of cool stuff. Is that it? No, got a... Someone tell Walters where it's Um There's a lot of kind of cool stuff in this game because like you can go. There's like an underside to Sky Garden, so you'll probably you'll probably be wanting to go above and below the Sky Garden to be able to f figure out all of the puzzles in the game. I'm gonna wait for this thing to pass for his damage. Waited a long time there just to make sure that um, all the explosions had finished because if you don't, you actually get a soft lock here if you um, open up that chest whilst the explosion is still going on. Equip the crystal ball, death walk back to the start of Sky Garden. This is the, quick, this is the quickest way to get back from the beginning of every single segment we do. So uh, that's what we want to do. This is perhaps the most broken of all three areas in Sky Garden, where we, we use the mechanics abuse to basically break the entire puzzle of this section. 
going to take some damage here just quickly. So normally you'd have to go to the underside and um, find a way to get up that, but I can just do the uh, jump attacks up the hills. Um, and there's the, the the crystal ball. You're supposed to go to the underside, knock some hit the some like things around, and then kind of get a specific space so you can like run across with more momentum. But the uh, yeah, you can just break it by doing that. And of course, we take extra damage, so we have our death warp because we have to go and grab this bad boy here. Okay, there we go. Fat red jewel. Because obviously, we need to get red jewels for 100%. Really bad, isn't it? Every single time I menu, dude. <laughs> I had that in front of trigger, I think. Yeah, I saw it, yeah. Uh, got a bit unlucky on the um, si on the golems. Golems. The cyborgs, let's call them. Uh, they're basically, they can fire in eight directions. He fired down left, which hit me as I ran past. There's nothing I can do about that. And it kind of caught my cycle when trying to get past the. Uh, the little, the little centipede ball things. I'm not, not really sure what to call them, to be honest, but, uh... Pun? It was in last year by, by Puexel. I didn't, I didn't for, for that reason. It got in last year by the guy who runs it the most. Why would I? <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't really have, have, have a chance with it. Well, as in, the guy that everyone knows for running it, despite having, despite running it, like, twice a year. All good. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Crayson, for the host as well, dude. I do appreciate that. Well, we all appreciate that here at the Moon Bros at German Speed and Housing Drive. Yeah. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. I'm going to force some damage here. This is a really, really cool. This is a really cool strat. This is the statue skip. This involves uh, abusing um, enemy knockback and not moving yourself. I'm gonna move down, and the sword's gonna knock me down. So if you try and run around that statue, if you put any bit of movement that isn't pixel perfect down below that statue, you will jump off and skip the crystal ball. So we move flat right into the statue, which, and the sword knocks us up, and we move down, and the sword can knock us down without making us jump off, then just press right and go round. So it's a really, really cool skip. Saves a bit of time not having to deal with the statue. And then Viper. This fight is pretty tough, so... Uh, well, to do it the way I do it, I'm stupidly ballsy when I don't need to be, but... Five hits is bad. Fucking hell, that was lucky. So one thing to note is that mashing in this game would not really help you too much. Honestly. Bacon. <laughs> I had. When did I take my first hit? Uh, good question. I just stopped full HP. I was just laughing. I was just laughing at them. Like. You shouldn't die in one hit from that. When did I take my first hit? Chats, we need your help. I got. I got hit that time. No, it's not your flash. I, I was on full health from what I saw. I didn't see my first hit. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that. Because <laughs> I. Uh, if I knew that I was going to die in one hit, I wouldn't have jumped where I jumped. Anyway, um, Sky Garden's over. I guess I'll watch it back and see what happened. It could be. I, I mean, if it has, <coughs> if, it, if it does, it's, I've never, I've never had it happen. So that that, that could very well be a, uh, um, a. That's never happened before. If maybe the, if maybe I got hit by the feather and him swooping at the exact same time. I'll watch it back. 
Hallo, Bro Toast. No. What are the stats on this golden bandana? Which golden bandana? There's no golden bandanas at all. I have the sparkly one, so I'm cool. Why did you make the bandana sparkle? Uh, what, with the shine? So it didn't, it didn't just look... So it didn't just look grey. <laughs> so you know it's a silver fair, one. Fair, fair, fair enough. <laughs> How much champ can a pog champ champ if a pog champ could champ champ? champ. The one on my forehead, it's pink, the one on my forehead, Kukin. Maybe. Will actually does have a headband on. It's it's not actually a headband or anything. It's a, I think it's more like a more like like a, like a circlet, but he does have a little blue. Um, headband. So yeah, we need Lily to grab this, so uh, that's why I went to go get her phone. Uh, phone first. Pretty bizarre. And then there are things like this, um, which I've wanted to test whether it's quicker to run down to this pool than do it at the door. Um, but I haven't, just because it takes so long for it to go up. And then I'm, you'll see when I move. It's a long ass time to wait, but yeah. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, I already said this to Jenny, but this is a perfect speed run to be having a barbecue and people running around the TV all the time. Perfect. The best game for this. Okay, so I'm going to quickly use a red jewel. Got to use one extra because there's one extra item in here. I'm trying to. I, there's maybe a better place to do it, but I'm doing it there because I am. So I get the the key to the seaside palace. Um, this is going to help me get out of where I am now, and into arguably the most annoying dungeon in the game. Arguably. Yeah, arguably. You got pyramid. You got. Which is annoying. Every, everyone hates Mount Temple, but I, it's just a bit of a maze. But it's fine. Was it the one where you like? Yep. Yeah. And also, the reason I don't get this until now is because if you come come up here before you put the jewel into the pond, you get an extra, an extra text box, which adds maybe like a frame or two. Yeah, it can it can uh, kind of s screw up your movement a little bit as well if you're kind of like not ready for it or you kind of mm, don't really think about it. I forgot about that. Uh, okay, so this the, this level starts off quite intensely. Um, I'm going to do a very very quick kill on a golem. So let me just move this one out of the way first. Uh, jump attack 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 jump attack attack. Now I'm going to do a quick kill. So you want to charge here. You want to let go immediately attack and recharge. When he stands up, you want to hit him with one more attack jump attack attack and he's dead. And you don't have to do an orb cancel because it takes the amount of time to run around for the orb to actually blow up. So you don't have to worry about menuing. Quite nice. Go for it. Okay, so this game is riddled with... They're not actually called whiz robes, but I call them whiz robes because I didn't think of another name to call them. Um, using the iframes there to knock the enemy out, out of the way. Uh, okay, so I'm going to kill this one with a jump attack. Now I'm going to kill these two with a jump attack. Iframe... Uh, sorry, orb cancel and use red jewels at the same time just to clear up, up some inventory space. That's going to force particular items into, into particular spots later. 
is pretty nice. Jump attack over the first lot of spikes. And then use the, bu the bubble to ba balance myself off. Keep myself moving. Okay, so there's a little trick here where there's basically um, statues face in, in, in particular positions and then where, where those faces meet, you'll find a secret item. Um, and these secret items are the key to kind of get through uh, Moo. So these statues of hope, I'll be finding rooms of hope and putting the statues in there and it will drain the water from Moo so I can get down to the secondary level where there are even more enemies and even more bullshit. And I mean that quite literally, even more bullshit. Because you'll get even you'll get more than one one with robe on every single screen. What's really cool here as well, you can you can jump attack into that, which knocks you behind the uh, bubble to get the bounce. Quite nice. And then, yeah, th this is this is a super technical level, but uh, it's very annoying because of the boss at the end. But this level feels really good to do well um, because there's so many like small tiny bits of speed speed tech that. Uh, Really is quite cool, and a few things that just kind of allow confirmation of uh, movement. So it's a good, it's a good level overall. Thankfully, the cycle is perfect for you to just run down the run left. Which is good. Okay, so we're going to be making our way down to the second level. The reason I killed that gem, the jelly up here, is because I have to bring down this uh, or this bubble. And if that jelly on the left is there, he will just, you know jump to into you and do five damage to you, which you don't want to do. Or four, rather. Four. Which is one fifth of my health. Uh, okay, so charge here, because I'm going to be killing a, a slime quickly. Okay, so I'm going to do this by holding the shield when you get to the top pixel. It holds you in place, and then you can let go and do an, an action to um, up there. So basically, what you would do is you'd perhaps try and find the pixel as you just naturally go up, but if you just hold down the shield button, you get stuck there, and then you can instantly uh, attack and then find your way up um, past the golem, which is nice. Obviously, it's slower by doing the shield, but it's just you guarantee that instead of going up and down the slope trying to find the attack to hit the, uh, the golem. Oh, damn it. Amazing movement there. Cool. Okay, so we're going to get a new, move, a new movement option, but also a new offensive option as well. Uh, so second skill for Will is the Psycho Slider. So now when we run and press the attack button, we will slide, which is, um, I don't know, pretty cool. It does a lot of damage. You have iframes, and it allows you to go through certain areas. Um, so... It's, it's a really, really useful move, but it, if you do it in a silly place, you can get punished. If, you, if, if, for example, the enemy has a lot of HP and you just slide into it thinking you're going to kill it, and you don't. You just land straight into a hitbox when the iframes run out. Cool, so very, very nice that we had that space there that we could use to try out our new skill. Oh dear, really? Okay. Thank you. Uh, third time the charm, I guess? Nice. This is our second and actually the last Statue of Hope in in the level. Um, <laughs> People trying to tell me you don't eat sausage for breakfast here. Come on. Oh, there's plenty of sausage. Is there anything else? So, 
again, we're going to do a death warp. Well, I say again, uh, for the first time for, the, for this level, but again in the overall run, we're going to do a death warp um, because the next Statue of Hope is right at the, at the start. Who'd have thought? That's the uh, one of the few red jewels we get here. This is really annoying because only in 100% do you have to deal with that golem. You don't have to deal with him in, in any percent. You can just brush him aside like you would on the first time you go past him. But uh, going to get the red jewel for some reason angers the golem into, uh, into action a little bit early. Great video game. Okay. So we've picked up Rama statue. This is a new kind of item in this area. These are actually the uh, these are the statues and things we do need. So these are the statues that are the key to this particular ruin. That will help us get through to the people of Mu. Christ. Thank you. <sighs> right, so I did um, a slide attack into a key item chest. When you when you go into a key item chest and hold forward when you have iframes, you actually get invincibility frames forever. For that screen. So I'm going to run through him, I'm going to run through him. Whenever you kind of have your... Um, whenever you like go into... If I was to menu or leave that screen like I did, um, the iframes would come, uh, would go away. So you could take take hits again. Marathon run, so I'm going to save here. See if I can do this first time. I've made, I failed to do cast off first time and viper first time, but <coughs> let's see if one of the hardest bosses in in the game can be done first time. Okay, so we've talking, spoken to em, talking. We've talking to everybody, spoken to everybody in the Moo tribe, and uh, they'll give us our third mystic statue. These six mystic statues are basically what I'm looking for to kind of help us uncover the uh, the truth. And uh, uh, don't ask how, but they will. Okay, so the vampires. You'd think, wow, great start um, by doing a dash attack. Didn't mean to. Okay, so got rid of the female um, vampire pretty quickly, but uh, the male hasn't taken too much damage. I, did, I didn't get that. You're supposed to be able to get a few hits on him for free at the very, very start, but I screwed up the input and decided to do a dash attack, um, do a slider, not a. Uh, Shout out to a herbless vampires. Do you still want something to eat? Thank you. I guess, yeah. I don't know. It's not ready right now. 
now, but I'm just asking how much I should still put on. Um, I could eat like one more piece of meat, yeah. I guess. We still got some bacon for, and steaks working. We still got something for Zoe. Do you want to still eat something? Oh, you haven't had to eat at all, right? Was yeah, that was a very, very, very he's difficult, difficult <laughs> fight. Believe it or not, um, he's still so it went very well. It, went, it was unfortunately quite slow because I did get um, I, I bad RNG. So uh, the RNG in that game is that uh, in that game in that fight is that you want the vampires to kind of cross over and um, kind of be on the same kind of path. You can hit them at the same time. So obviously you're doing they have if they, if they both have 40 HP and you're doing one to each of them. You're doing two at every single attack rather than one, which kind of you know, speeds up that fight tremendously. Uh, a 77 isn't very good, honestly, um, but it better to be safe than sorry, obviously. It's all about them 86s. Yeah. Well, you want a 101 if possible. Well, a three digit plus obviously is great. I think the world record is like a 110, which is just absolutely disgusting. Mm. So we find out that, um, you know, you know Seth, that little purple guy who was on the ink and ship who decided to get swallowed by uh, Riverson or Leviathan, but there's a wonderful bit of translation there for you. Uh, censorship, actually, because it was like Leviathan was some kind of like, I don't know, they didn't want to call him Leviathan for some reason, but they did. Um... He, it turns out that he became Riverson, and he wants to, he would like to come on the journey with us, but unfortunately cannot. Um, hello there, the cursed one. Is that cursed game? Have you changed your name? Obviously, that's fine if you have. But... So. We leave the tunnel eventually, and everyone's kind of going to head off. Kara has a little bit of a... Uh, she has a Hall of Fame hissy, and um, runs away. And everyone's like, oh, for fuck's sake, Will, go find her. So, you know, they're going to go chill out whilst I have to go and deal with Princess Bossy Boots over here. Uh, speak to Jem, go for it. Speak to Jem the Jeweler, and get an upgrade. So the cool thing about Jem the Jeweler is that as you kind of um, hand in jewels, the more you the more you hand in, the more upgrades you get. So I'm, I've been given an extra herb, an extra HP, defense, and uh, attack, and I've also uh, I will also soon be given, giving myself an. Uh, also, I've also got a dark power upgrade as well. So um, my psycho dash is stronger. Not my slider, but my dash. That is that was a questionable uh, screen there. Don't know why I didn't move down, but I didn't. Okay, so this is uh, the wind tunnel. What you, We can basically do these slides, because the slides are like a, a unique animation, so it actually skips loads of time of having to kind of run against the wind, so... Jump attacks also work, but sli uh, sliding is faster. Go for it. Whenever I'm saying go for it, that's me letting the uh, moon bros cross the screen to go to the barbecue and get the food. So. Just in case you're wondering why I'm saying that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Numskull. It's very kind of you. How are you doing today, sir? Okay, cool. So we're going to have a nice little uh, kind of change of pace here with the game. So we're going to have a um, a spot the difference mini game. Exciting. So who can spot the difference in three, two, one, go? What is it? Obviously, it's the blue jar. Okay, let's have a look at, at the room. Did we all get a good look? Good. Spot the difference. What is it? Obviously, it's the blue jars. Okay. Found ourselves an herb. Who can spot the difference? What is it? That's right. It's the contents of the box. We're doing a good job so far. Three for three. 
One more to go. What do we got? What do we got? Hmm. Hmm. Final room. That's right. It's his hair. That's actually quite a cool little uh, thing. But the, the difference in those two rooms is that obviously there's wind. So Will himself is moving. That's the only thing that you can really tell. So you select him. No worries, Ileana. Thank you very much, dude. Take care. So, the uh, Ishtar, the painter, pa painted himself into a portrait. That's one hell of a, uh, a way to go. That was bad. Bad mashing there. Bad mashing. The portrait of Earl Grey. Yes, let's go with that one. Sounds like a veritable um, masterpiece of an answer. Okay, so this is Watermeyer, um, a a town built on rafts, a beautiful town with houses built on rafts. Um, and the townspeople have kindly put us up at the house of young Luke. Um, we know, obviously know who young Luke is. Um, I like how Will's narrator voice kind of became Luke at, at, at the same time as well, so is that. So this is uh, Lance's father. He went on the exhibition with Olman, who is Will's father, a year and a half ago. So Lance has found his father. His father seems to be a little bit different. He's uh, incapacitated in a way, so it's time for... So Lance is like, oh man, I've got to look after my daddy. But it's... Um... Yes, I know it was Dorian Gray. Um... It's, it's, it's uh, Lily's birthday, so they made her a cake with a... I'm not, I didn't count the amount of candles on there, but I, I hope it's accurate, or it may not be accurate. Um, Lance then professes his love to Lily, despite them having known each other for less than an hour and 11 minutes. Lily, wait! He, he cries as his the love of his life pisses off. So, we've got... You know I was talking about how like you have iframe attacking and iframe defending? Uh, Will can't really do it the way that Freedan does. You can just run, attack, and then continue running with Freedan. You can't do that with Will, because obviously when you run and then attack, um, you'll do A, a slide now, and if you didn't, just attack to run, you then do a jump attack. So you can't... You haven't got those options with Will. So he has to do a different kind of approach to iframe attacking which comes in handy very well here because of the large hitboxes of the enemies in the Great Wall. Um, so I have to run, stop and attack in a perpendicular direction and then continue my direction of movement. So I'll show you what I mean just here. So I'm gonna run, press up and then continue running like that. Only two pieces of bacon left, if anyone wants. I'm currently in the middle of a run but uh... <laughs> Open wide! <laughs> go now if you're gonna go, yeah. Cheers, thank you. So I'm gonna run, attack up, continue running. Ah, oh, too late. There we go. If you stop too early, you won't be able to get through. You've got just a few iframes to get through, so. Will just showing his knees are amazing. There we go. Solid. Good landing. Ten. Let me hang out with the terracotta armor army for a little while. Um, you 
You're gonna cross again. Uh, go now. The snake's gonna jump, so I need to do a dash attack. Oh no, I can't do it now. Okay, I got it. Um, does it matter? Took too long, but whatever. I mean, I kind of screwed up my positioning there, which kind of cost me a bit of time. Okay, so this is the biggest skip in the game. I'm going to hold down the attack button here and slide. Uh, so I'll explain this as I go, but I'm now... Um, I shouldn't have been able to stop there. I should have to kind of go past it and pick up a skill to come back. And I'll kind of explain why it's so important. Because a bunch of things gel, like kind of uh, gel together with this particular skip. Um, which kind of makes it good. Go for it. I'm going to heal here as well. because I'm probably not, not going to take another hit, but it's just, just in case I get caught off by a boss. By the boss, rather. So I'm going to turn into Freedan now. Um, and we need Freedan to kind of allow ourselves to get past... Um, a couple of screens coming up, so let's uh, let's go. Okay. Okay. So here, obviously, I've got free down right now, so. Freedan can kill this guy. Obviously, we can't. This is too far away for Will, even with some kind of, of, of mechanics abuse. But uh, we can kill him with the Grand Old Master Freedan. Now, I'm going to jump down here. This will take me to a hidden and mandatory dark space. Inside this dark space is a statue with a skill. Now, remember I said that when you touch a skill statue, you change into that character. However, I didn't. A caveat to this, which I didn't actually explain last time, was that when you have the skill gained, that statue becomes inert. Normally, when you transform between a character, you go back into the blood of the dark space. The other character statue is there, so you can transform to and from. Not the case with this one. The statue remains the same. You, you can't transform into Free Dan here. So normally, what you do is you come forward, get the spin dash, go back to Free Dan, change to Free Dan, come forward, kill, change back to Free Dan. At the back, at the very, very first one, and then come forward um, after changing from freedom to will and back. So the fact that we, instead of having to go like one to two, or sorry, one, two, three, four, five, we're now just going one and a half. There's a lot of backtracking that you would need to do if you hadn't skipped like that. How long do you still have to go? Uh, about an hour and a bit. I'll try and finish quicker, don't worry. No, no, no. <laughs> I know you're desperate to run the PAL version of, of Mal, Maui, Maui, uh, Maui Mallard. I'm not, not that desperate, actually. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, so that's the end of Great Wall. So this is Sandfanger, the most RNG boss in the game. He has three moves. Good start. <laughs> That's the one I want to see. That is egg lay. If he lays eggs, I can get ten hits off. If he doesn't, I can only get um, eight hits off. If he doesn't, I can get maximum two. Already missed one hit as well. This is really good. Wow! Okay, Fanger. This is not a PB attempt. What are you doing? <laughs> You're gonna do that, boy? That was really good. <clears throat> Five egg lay. If you go with this estimate, you shouldn't call yourself a speedrunner. Cheers, mate. 
I'm definitely trying. Five eggs is very good. That probably would be a rainbowy. Considering I know I, I kind of did a I did a, I muffed up uh, a couple of things in Great Wall. But for, for the most part, it's pretty good. So then Lance and Lily have yet another um, mushy old love scene. <clears throat> Obviously, you know I want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Fanger. That's the kind of sound we want to see. When are you learning IOG Volters? Or, mm -hmm. or is the double tap too much for you? Do you remember we did like two races or so of uh, cast off or so? Like 2013 oh, yeah. or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, the, the cast off races, yeah, yeah, with seven jewels. Or no jewels at all, what am yeah. I saying? I don't know. I want to be with you forever. Wow, I've never felt this way before. It's like a million summer days! That sounds like something Vegas would say. Final Fantasy VIII was okay. I, I PB'd by 26 minutes or something, so... It's not a bad PB. Yeah. It's still not sub-9, because... Uh, I, I failed something really stupid. So if we, have had, if we haven't already had enough of... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Bullshit. Bullshit, yeah, let's go for that. Um, we're about to kill a guy. So we've sold slaves off, we've, uh, I don't know, done other things, but we're about to kill a guy now. Not actively ourselves, I guess, maybe? By the way, this is the only time in the game you can run into the wall as well, for some reason. <laughs> well, for now, the only person drinking with me is High Spirit, so... <laughs> okay, so th this is Russian Glass. If, th if this was RNG, I wouldn't run this game. Um... Actually, no, I would, because it, there's, there's a tell, so you know which one is the bad one. But the one on the right is always the bad one. Can, um, can you actually drink the, the poison one? You can, yeah. When you pick it up, it says there's something funky about this one. You sure, yeah. you, sure you, want, you want to drink it? So it does tell you that it's the bad one. Yeah, it's the but, only one that but, has but that. Can you, actually, can you actually choose and drink it? Yeah, and you do the whole death thing and you walk back to the beginning okay. of the room. Yeah. You, have to let, um, you have to let this guy <laughs> die. Um, he is, a, he's terminal anyway, he knows he's going to die, but he's like, you know, he is the he is the lord of Russian glass, he can't lose, he drinks it regardless of that. And leaves behind an expectant wife, um, and tells her to give us all of their crux. So, you know, a, an, an, an expecting woman, um, you know, with no income. Dude is taking the easy way out with the Russian glass. Yeah, he's taking the easy way out. Um, you know, leaves his expectant wife with nothing. As the crux have also been sold off, um, and now Will and Neil and Eric and Kara bounce away across the desert and live happy, happily ever after. The end. Welcome to the city of Euro. The city of Euro. It's like right? the entire city. Just you know. we we crossed the desert and finally arrived in the village of Euro. The village of Euro. Despite Euro was a bustling city. It's not looking like a village at all. It's called City, City, Village, then City again. Um, <laughs> with the Rolex company, obviously. People coming and going. <laughs> For three years, he hasn't been there. His yeah. parents welcomed him home. They set off fireworks. There were dancers. It looked like a festival had started. Definitely looked, definitely looked just like that, yeah. Too bad you never see anything of that. I'll take the dancers. There aren't any, unfortunately. That's the thing. That's that's the issue. Is there aren't any? I feel cheated. Okay, so Neil's like, hang out in my mansion. It's all good, fam. And we're just like, you know what? Let's go and not do that. So uh, we are going to try and do this perfectly, at least. One, two, three. Ah, I missed it. Um, we're going to pick up apples. Um, there's a lady inside Neil's mansion. Uh, one of the maids. Her name is Anna, but I keep thinking her name is Kate, so I'm going to call her Kate, despite the fact that she's called Anna. She is Kate. Um, she looks like a, a Kate. So I've given her an apple. If you give her three, she gives you a red jewel. So I'm going to give her two, and then going to pick up the third one, then continue, and then um, 
come back later because there we go, that's better. Um, because I'm going to be coming back to the mansion as part of the route. So, cheers, mate. Are you uh, stealing apples? I am stealing apples. Right under the, I'm literally looking the person in the face and being like, "Wow, slavery, death, stealing." I mean, thievery. he's a top quality hero. He didn't have yet. Look, he hasn't had a father figure for a year and a half. I'd be off the rails if at 14 I didn't have it. I well, uh, missed it just about. Pick up the third apple. Off we go. Secret thing here. There's another red jewel in the wall. Of course there is. It's not true 100. percent You don't wait in the line. <laughs> I've had this conversation with the community before. <laughs> I think we should. I think we should wait in the line because I hate going into the final boss without that full HP. Um, as Volters were very wonderfully um, alluded to. There is a line in City of Euro, Village of Euro, Euro whatever, uh, which is, you just wait, and you wait there for about two minutes, and then you can go into a room and pick up a health pot, which increases your HP by one. I think actually if you do, I'm not sure if it's frame perfect, but I think you can sneak in the line from the left. Uh, people have discussed this. Um, <laughs> line skip. If so... So that jewel there is the only one in the entire game we have to backtrack to. That, that's why I came back to Watermire now. Um, I, there is another one I'm going to get, but I left it on purpose because I'm coming back here. So I... Um, yeah. There's a red jewel. And speak to Jem once again. Thanks, Jem. But yeah, the, the one that uh, Lance gives you is the only one that you have to backtrack for. Uh, fun fact as well is that um, I can't go back to every place I've been to. So, for a long ass time, a lot of stuff has been missable. If you miss a red jewel... Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers coming. Rounds can die from you missing a jewel. And then it'd be like, alright, well it's not... You know. Uh, the, for example, the one in, in Ishtar's um, studio, where, when you um, are doing the... Uh, spot the difference. One chest has a herb and one chest has a red jewel. I once just pegged it out without picking up the red jewel. The door immediately locks when you leave. Can't go back in. I mean, you can go back to the to the South Cap or something. You or, can't go back to South Cap. It's just <laughs> it's just the way the game works. Yeah. It, it makes sense for the narrative of the, of the game, but you know, as a speedrunner, you're kind of like, oh shit. And I'm pretty sure there's many many people who 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 complain about oh, I can't complete it. But it's like, well, then get good and find them all. <laughs> I never found them when I was younger. Maybe like thirty or so. No, never 50. Okay, so this this level is all about not that movement, but precision movement. So being able to turn at the right time on the right hand side or something and kind of like diagonally move across what the space you need to clear without jump attacking when you don't need to. You know, running running a few pixels past where you need to be does lose does lose you time. Go for it. Go for it, go for it, go, 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 go. There's nothing, I'm doing nothing, you can go. It's fine. Never mind. Don't hesitate yourself. Yeah, I got the iframes there just to get through those skulls. Okay. Wow, that was quick. Okay. Go for it. So yeah, we can use this spin dash to kind of like close down large spaces as well, which is quite nice. Three, four. Already equipped that. I don't usually equip that there, that's why I did that again. Fun little thing about the vines is that even if you uh, use the mushroom drops from the left hand side, the vines will grow from the right. Just It's just a animation thing, really. Um. Yeah, this this dungeon was a problem for many people because it is very maze-like. But um, but uh, 
Yeah. <clears throat> It, what's interesting about that, Joe Fru, is that you say the, trif the trifecta of coolness. Um, I was listening to some Golden Sun music maybe about seven years ago, and in 2010 or whenever it was, I posted in that thing saying that I realised, I, I, I seriously did, there, you're cool if you have three things, a bandana, a scarf, or a cape. Which is really bizarre that you say that, the trifecta of coolness, scarf, bandana, and cape are the three <laughs> things that I learnt are cool from games o over the years, for things like, you know, Shining Force, Golden Sun, um, all the things. I genuinely did. That's not, that's not a joke. If, it, if you said that because you'd seen that comment, that is a particular uh, level of bullshit small worldness. <laughs> Go for it. <clears throat> <laughs> well, the reason this is more maze-like, Ipsy, is because it's um, the game's pace is overall faster, and it's for the for the size of things, you're zoomed in a little closer than Boff. La Slow down. If you get good positioning on the spiders, you can just uh, dash attack them and kill them all. I mentioned it during the GSH fundraiser, did I? I don't remember that myself. It's the real item. This is the most important item in the entire game. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. How is it not? Because you need the tea. The teapot, nothing without the tea. On a scale of one to Bowie, how British are you? It's okay. I'm sorry, what's going on? Why is it okay? What? I just said, on a scale from one to Bowie, how British are you? Bowie. <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> very <laughs> Bowie. <laughs> very, very Bowie or, or just Bowie? <laughs> very, very, very Bowie. I don't know. Um, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I, I keep. I, I've made this joke before, obviously. It's, you may have heard me say this, but it's that thing when like someone says I'm I'm posh, and I go, No, I'm not. Stop it. No. You always become more of something when someone says you are, and you try not to be. <laughs> That's why when someone says you're bad, you go, no I'm not, I'm really good, and then you fuck something up. Always happens. It's only a handful of times I can say that I uh, boasted and got away with it. So these slaves, we've opened the statue, but we're <laughs> you're on your own chaps. I did, I did the legwork. You're a really bad person in this game. Yeah, Will is a dickhead. Uh, if, the, if, if that's not enough, get ready for what he's going to do next. NPCs hate him. See how this main character destroyed everyone. I'm not. Can you sing I'm a little teapot? I cannot, no. I can, but I'm not going to, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm a little teapot, short and bowie. There you go. <laughs> so, teapot. Turns out that Neil's parents were in fact dead! Moon Tribe people were lying to Neil, and Neil's all, wah. And, and then check out um, Will's reaction. I finally realised with a Z how important my parents are to me. Wish I could tell them. Just leave me alone. And Will says, I'm ashamed to hear you talk that way. Mm. How dare you, you scumbag. Maybe they could talk, you know, to themselves over a nice teapot. Meanwhile, high spirits, yeah. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> because I've spent like the last, I don't know, 14 years of my life being a, uh, a performing monkey, quite literally, in being in, in, in the theatre, you just made to do things on the spot all the time. So, uh, 
I tend not to when I'm in the middle of a speed run. <laughs> if I was casually playing, sure. Uh. Will is an even bigger villain than Cecil. How is Cecil a villain? He does murder an entire village. Yeah, but that wasn't his fault. That wasn't intentional. Don't Everything Will does is, in, is, is intentional. He intentionally hears that the slave doesn't want to be found. He intentionally tells the slavers where that slave is. He intentionally makes bacon? That one's not his fault. I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm not throwing Will on the fire. I'm, I'm not throwing Hamlet on, on, the, on <laughs> the fire, as it were. Is there still something on the barbecue? Or? Yeah. Okay. Snickers. Snickers, Snickers, and Knickers? No. Snickers, as in. Ha oh, Snickers. Uh, Give Snickers, me. Sn Snickers, as in the chocolate. Snickers. We like the Snickers bar, don't we? And Knickers, as in a lady's briefs. Uh, anyway. <laughs> if, if he pushes Yang off a ship, that's one thing. But he doesn't mur murder the village. He does. I, no, no, no. He does murder the mages of Mycidia, That is correct. Uh -huh. That is correct. I thought. I, I, never, thought, I, I thought, never told you what village he murdered. I just said well, he murdered you, the village. I forgot. Well, that happens pre-story, so that's different. It happens in the middle of the game. No, well, the beginning of the game. <laughs> it's, it's flashback. It doesn't happen. Nearly the same. It's flashback. You still see it though. If you have a Rip Bowie, then or a Bowie Rip, do unleash the Rip Bowie. Bowie Rip. Fuck me. Now, don't rip me. I'm still alive. Uh, and it turns out that oh yeah, we you know we mentioned that Will's mum was missing. We found her! Mother? Yeah. <laughs> so Will's father is a flute, his mother is a pig. And we're still blaming him for being fucked up. I know. As I said, he didn't have it's any... Cecil's worse. Didn't have Cecil choice. is not worse. Cecil is legit. Cecil doesn't have mommy-daddy issues. He! <laughs> <laughs> is he, he's a dark knight. He's doing what he thinks is right, then he realises that he can be more than a dark knight. Cecil's a beast. So... If I go on a murdering spree and decide that I'm good, it's all forgiven? No. Only if you go to a random mountain, find a sword and become a paladin, is that okay? Or pray in the Catholic Church. Basically wipes you clean of all your sin. Pretty much. Okay, I'll remember that. When you hear mass murder... I was gonna say, yeah, Florida man. <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, hey, Bowie told me it's alright, I went to a mountain and found a sword. If, if you say Bowie told me that, everyone was like, he was touched by David Bowie. <laughs> His music spoke to me. There's a Florida star man. man waiting in the sky. Florida man kills 35, escapes into the mountains. <laughs> Comes back with sword, completely pure of heart. Wins nice. win Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, if, it, if that, that is a story I want to hear. I want to hear that. That screen tearing is getting worse, it seems. What is that floor to be, actually? Is uh, it biases? People. Uh, People. You're walking on people, I think. I don't know. That floor is always I, confusing. I've never figured out what that's supposed yeah. to be, actually. Bugs, I guess. I think it's bugs or snakes or something. Cockroaches. Indiana Jones, maybe. I was re reading an article earlier today, um, which is kind of like, you know, the like, top 25 like, dumb things that people have heard in the cinema. And uh, someone was saying that they were watching snakes on a plane, and when Samuel L. Jackson's trying to crack, crack the code to the cockpit, he can't because like the, the keypad's broken. <laughs> Someone shouted out, "Damn, the snakes changed the combination!" <laughs> That's fucking good. Oh snap! <laughs> the snakes did it. So good. They're becoming more aware. <laughs> they're becoming self-aware. Of course, they're self-aware, brother. But uh, yeah. Smart fucking snakes. <laughs> I would have loved to have been in that cinema screen when that happened. <laughs> no damage taken. Fucking amazing. <laughs> Goddamn snakes. Snakes on a Okay, so I'm going to do a massive skip here. So remember I mentioned I was only going to get four spells, or four skills? I've already skipped one of three Dan's that we could have gotten in um, Mount Temple, which is like a really crappy Aura Shield, which does bollocks all. Um, we're about to take that one step further. This is actually a big skip. This is the Earthquaker skip. So normally I'd need to go to the right and pick up a skill called Earthquaker so I can jump off here and use it and paralyze this guy here. But because I've got this, I can blow up um, the Dark Friar and it, it, it hits him twice before he can activate and become a, a wall to block the way. So that's a pretty cool skip. That saves about a minute and a half. It's pretty cool. 
Again, no major glitches, just a bunch of, of mechanics abuses. That's why I like this game. Hello. Because it's, uh... I don't, I mean, games with that are, like, majorly glitched, uh, I've always found that they've been, for me, as a runner, less enjoyable to run. Um... Uh, uh, adventure. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like warps. <laughs> I like warpless. <laughs> <laughs> the warps category is fucking stupid. <laughs> Too much RNG, but like things that are like overly glitched and broken and stuff. Like, I like this because it's got some stuff that's kind of cool and tricky and kind of does, you know, Double change. Down. Yeah, it does kind of change the game in terms of like, you know, doing that kind of skip and stuff, but it's not so major that, 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 that the game is entirely destroyed to pieces and someone's looking at like a broken remnant of a video game just like breathing, like, help me! Hey, there's one. The speedrunners got to me! You mean Ocarina of Time? Yeah! There is one case where I enjoy it because it takes me five hours. Dragon I'm sorry. Quest V. Dragon Quest V. The PlayStation 2. Glitch the hell out of the game, finish it five hours early. <laughs> Good ass game, dude. <laughs> yeah, see, these, that, the, that is the one category I'm trying to run is 1P2C one, one for Secret of Mana. I really want to learn the glitchless version of all that, though, just because that's, you know. It feels much more enjoyable. Yeah, oh, that game is so broken. Even if you do glitchless, you're still glitching the game. People say this, but I don't. I don't. Don't agree at all. I don't That's agree. why it's in quote like quotation marks glitchless because yeah, but I you're don't, still going to accidentally glitch the game somehow. The thing is, someone's saying that well, you know when you get you know when the um, HUD goes blue and they're like, oh, that's a glitch. I'm like, it's a, that, that's not the same kind of glitch. The glitch that actually kind of like sequence breaks or destroys it. That's just a visual glitch that is immediately restored as soon yeah, as you do something else. You're just ca if you play the game, you're just casually. Gonna go uh, um, clip through a wall or or go uh, go somewhere. You're not gonna do that. It's, it's so easy it's to so not do that. It's so freaking broken. It's not. It's not. It's not as easy yeah, as you think. Like think to do that. That actually happens to me in casual. Yeah, so I, I played the game for. I have played the game since it came out, and I the first time I saw any glitch of that magnitude was the speed run. I never encountered anything. When I played it casually ever. a few months ago, mm -hmm. I freaking glitched myself into in one of the temples so badly. Yagamoth and Stun or, uh, and. Uh, and Crow had to figure out a way for me to get out of there. <laughs> well, I guess because I, I, I guess just America, accidentally I... walked through a wall, just attacking things, you know. Why were you attacking random walls? No, I was just attacking enemies. Well, and next thing I know, mm. next thing I know, someone goes through the other side. Well, wait, wait, I, I, I disagree that you're going to glitch mm. it just by, by by playing it casually. You have to do something to no, make it don't. happen. You do. No, you don't. You do. I, just I, with the way the AI moves, you can easily have one of them, you know, clip through a freaking uh, platform that they're not supposed to. I haven't had that happen once. I, I, I will do a casual playthrough and not glitch, and not glitch that game once, I swear. Okay, let's see. I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, I would say Secret of Mana is more broken than Evermore. Secret I mean, of Mana is more broken uh, than Evermore. I don't know. They're, they're both pretty broken. Yeah, they're, they're both pretty broken, but I guess... Uh, it's even mana you break like. Evermore's it's actually not that much, it's yeah. just like very, very. You gotta do complex yeah. things to really break. I mean, Evermore. like, but Atlas you Clip. Mana, you can just, but Atlas Clip, you, you run through you the entire game. You don't, you just switch to your AI partner after you cast the cutscene. Yeah. <laughs> or you don't, and then you fight an extra boss. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like say that Secret of Mana is not broken. That game is broken as fuck. But I'm just saying that you can easily play it without glitching it. Yeah. So the the glitchless when they when they when they say that it's in in quote marks like I I think that's silly. They, they, it's just it's very it's easy. It's the play. same with, with with Luffy too. It was glitchless for a while. Now it's no major glitches because you can. The best thing is you can't play the game without glitches since the text is freaking hot every time. You're gonna play the game. Fine then. Play Mr. Yeah. Quest glitchless. That's Mystic even, Quest glitch. That's even impossible because... <laughs> Do you call that resistance thing a glitch? Yeah, well, it is. I actually did. I actually did a speed run without that because I, I didn't. I had. I uh, basically, uh, unfortunately, accidentally erased my save files. Yeah, the only possible way you could do that glitchless was to is to erase every save file and start with a new file. But the a thing is, it has even glitched out because if you have no, you need to like completely wipe the file, like you know, remove the battery <laughs> or fresh cart or something, something that gets rid of all the save. You know, that makes it so the save files never existed. <laughs> That game just accidentally glitched. <laughs> he 
Yeah, I think no major, no major glitches for a little bit of the past is also a really good run because there are some things that are kind of like stupid and like you know like like, like bomb jumps and stuff like that are really good and like the super walking when you do like um, using an item and dashing on the same frame that that yeah, that, 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 like, that kind of stuff is really cool because it doesn't destroy the game. It yeah. just kind of like speeds things up a little bit, um, which is kind of like why things like warpers are really good because. Um, Things like cure cancelling is fine in both categories, warp, war, warps, and warps, because it's just a way to, you know, just call cure cancelling. Oh, like, he likes to pick and choose with his glitches. Yeah, he's like a Japanese runner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is glitch. This is a glitch to run. This is not a glitch. Forty of the red jewels. I'm missing one. Uh oh. Oh, we did it, boys. Uh-oh. Oh, and people voted for it. Just think of the people, dude. Didn't that happen last year? <laughs> no, I, got, I did it last year. No, did it? Yeah, it did, yeah. <laughs> I missed the one in... Was it here, though? I missed it. I, somewhere I did it. I, I think it was for, think for the fundraiser. No, I missed it in... Um, the one in Edward's castle was the one where you go left because I've oh, been okay. doing so much any percent I forgot to go left. I did pick up the one in Angel Village in the fountain, yeah. I think I missed it in Angkor Wat, I think I know, know which one it was. I don't remember picking it up. Um, I'm just going to make sure I pick this one up. You, you did. I did pick up one. Yeah, I thought I did. You don't need to stand on the line for red jewel. It's just for an HP jewel. I've done the apple jewel. I got that one. All's gone from my inventory. Definitely did that one. Yeah. Yeah, you did the apple jewel. I don't know. I think I missed the one in the in the main hall, basically. Fuck me, flat. Um, fucking. My God. I don't often run through here normally, so bear with me. Fuck me, feel flies. What the hell, dude? Dang, those flies hurt. Fuck! I should have. I should have. Should've just changed free Dan. This is how we go over estimate. Mm -hmm. Again. Being consistent. <laughs> Fucking flies, dude. Why have I missed one? What have I done? Where have I missed one? This is the question. I'm pretty sure I don't. I don't recall the one I've missed. I really don't. You should have 41 going into Dow. You've got this one though. Yep, I'm just gonna make sure. It is. I had. The thing is, I had enough coming out of um, Watermeyer when I did, did the Watermeyer. Um, uh, the Watermeyer dude. I think I forgot the one in here, basically. Yeah, I don't remember you picking that up, so... I think I, I think I think I just dropped down and ran away. No, I got it. Did you get the uh, stuff that's on the grill still? I need to die. Whoops. Hmm. There's still stuff on the grill? Another one is done. I don't know. I don't know what one I could have missed. 
Going back over all of them. I can't think of one I've missed. Had all of them up to Watermeyer, so I got the one. The I got the one in um, Mount Temple. I think I've got them all in here, so I don't know, what, don't know what, what, what one it is I'm missing. That's all of them. In Angkor Wat. Oh, fuck me, Bowie. I don't know which one I missed. I don't know which one I missed. And I still get it? Yeah. I know which one I missed. Oh, it's something changed the spoon pipe in 90% Eros. 99%. He still can get it at the time. Well, technically, it'd be 98%. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, that depends how you weigh, like, what kind of dungeon. Well, yeah, but you have to subtract not being able to fight the extra boss, too. Yeah. But I think it still comes out to about 98%. Maybe even less. Yeah. I don't know, he's basically stolen from another game, so... Yeah. That's like 2% at most. I know. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm wrong here, then I don't know what I've missed. Um, you have to speak to the middle um, middle native after you cure her from stone. Go! I think, right? Okay, so our red jewel, so... You're good? Yep, yeah, I know. Yep, yeah, go on. Why did I go to Angkor Wat? I don't actually know how to get to... One second. I'm going ahead of myself, I was trying to go... To, I, haven't, I haven't ever had to go back from Dao before, so... I started to get numb to our sport since my teams have been bad for so long. Hmm. I've never had a team win a major pro uh, sports, professional sports event yet. Title yet. All my hockey teams, football teams, never won. I haven't been to the playoffs in five, ten years in any of those two seasons either, either. No matter how bad it gets, that's probably worse. I don't know. Not having a professional sports team win in 35 years that I've been alive? Actually, win. they've never won. None of my teams have ever won. But the thing is, winning and just doing well are different things. But I haven't done well in either in 10 years. Like if you're in like the top half of any league, you're doing fine. They're not in the playoffs! <laughs> playoffs are different from leagues, though. Well, when you're talking hockey, 16 out of 30 teams go to the playoffs. Talking yeah. football, you know, what, 12 out of 32 go to the playoffs. Well, that guy's different then. Yeah. <laughs> like my football team's so bad, it's picking fourth out of 32 in the draft. They had the fourth worst record in the NFL. Oh, that means there's three teams that are worse. <laughs> Good odds. Well, in football, that would be enough to not be relegated. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't get relegated. Even hmm. though people keep saying they're just going to move to London anyways.
How would you like to have the London Jaguars to root for them? Should have moved down. If you move down, you need to have less animation time for that. Well, that that was a new one to forget for me. So. What did you learn, Hoppy? We literally have gone through six boxes of play Let's See, why can I do these really hard bits completely fine and I forget something silly as just pressing fucking B one extra time? God. Bad yeah. movement from the knight. If he moves to the right rather than attack to the right, uh, you hit him and you can get through without getting hit. Since all the super dick mins are done. Uh, so I, I'd already figured that out, Hoppy, but yeah. Oh, good enough. That's a little, uh, a little sweet. <laughs> I will get that one day. Yeah, he's not feeling well. Badly, Zatox. I uh, died to cast off and Viper and forgot a jewel. <laughs> so we're on good pace for uh, generally sucking. So, you know. Take it as a win, right? Oh, you're not useless, Hoppy. The fact that you thought of it, of it at all is good. You did learn where the jewels could be. You killer six. Okay, the killer six um, are the, is about one of the hardest bits in the game. Um, I've got like a million fucking herbs, so let's use one. As well as some of these. So there are six. The way this the way this dungeon works is there are six um, smaller sections of the dungeon where you can get a hieroglyph stone, and then they will become part of a wider um, or a single puzzle at, at the end to get to the boss. Part of the barbecue. Um, so I'll do this in a specific order to kind of speed everything up. Remember I came through here earlier, the first time I came through here was just to get one of the red jewels that I can get. Um, because I'm on that side anyway, and then I'm actually going to go this way to actually complete the thing. I'm doing a small glitch here called the Aura Glitch, or, or Attack Cancel Aura. Um, where you attack and then you use Aura to um, cancel the... Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. He fires two immediate lasers, that's very rare. Um, Fuck me, really? Thank you. That's actually, I think that's pixel perfect. Yeah, I think, I think I've got the pixel perfect spacing. I should go through the door without splashing. Um, yeah, so you basically keep the attack animation. Uh, no, I didn't. One to the right. Yeah, 
Uh, saves a few, saves a few frames if you get that. Um, so yeah, you can see that I'm attacking whilst I'm going through things, and it allows me just to kind of be safe here and there when landing on stuff. So yeah, these these orbs are very very aggressive, and however, however you move, they'll be you know firing quite quickly upon you. Um, so you can kind of use the iframe like attacks to kind of allow yourself to get through situations because it also stalls their attack when you hit them, even if by a little bit. So you can use it to kind of get past and around certain uh, things. I'll do. Bang on 7 HP as well. So the orbs hit you by 6, the soldiers hit you by 7. Um, this is the point where I will actually... Because every, every time I've been warping out, so I can get, I, and it sends me to the top, because I'm staying as Shadow, if I uh, die, I obviously change back into Will. Um, so I want to remain as Shadow. So I've gone through the pools every single time in order to... Uh, you know, stay as Shadow. The reason we do this one last is because outside this door is a pool, but if we jump down, we get one more red jewel, and that's the last one. And we'd rather use that one because we can't get back up to the pool as the last one to actually kill ourselves off to complete the first half of the pyramid. And from this point on, we're going to be using only Will. In order to kind of fully explore these places, you would want to use Free Dan as well, but fuck that. Fuck, I died too early. Uh, that's the first time that's happened as well. That's a new one. What the hell? I'm not even... Thank you. <laughs> this could be bad. Okay, no, we, 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 we got away with it. Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> that's nice. I'm just going to do it the slow way rather than the fast slow way. way. The slow way is better. That's fine if it happens again because I've got enough HP. That's a classic, guys. That's a classic. Okay, this is kind of hard. Um, Got it. <laughs> Running between those orbs is so hard to do, but obviously very, very worth it. Just gonna duck in here to grab ourselves a uh, red jewel. Uh, again, getting hit by things doesn't really matter too much because I'm going to. Oh, wow, I can't do this now. I'm not gonna get the right timing. Maybe. Got it. Oh man, that's close. Okay, so one left to go. Um, obviously, we're going to death warp. I have once decided that it'd be a good idea to go into that pool because I'm really smart, which cost me about three minutes. 
Three minutes? That's about a bit too much. Minute and a half, two minutes. A long time, so you have to go into the thing, change into shadow, sink down, go into the other thing, change back into shadow. Uh, change back from shadow, rather. There we go. Nailed it, boys! So you want to stay up at the top here to get the momentum from the, the overall great spin and the down part of that to go all the way through. Do another spin to get past these traps without taking any damage, and then one final spin to complete the area. Almost. That is six out of six hieroglyphic stones. And if you thought this game was dark already, hold on to your butts. Because we're about to get a whole... bit darker. Really? Cute. What have I missed? Yeah, I need a five. When did I miss one? Bird leg key, sit owl stone. I want the stone. I know what I didn't do. Fuck me, this is so bad. I'm not trying to go over estimate, I swear. <laughs> Some things just happen, dude. Just the cosmos coming together. Just let it happen. Just go with the flow, dude. Bowie, GSH, and underestimate. Again. Let's do it. We need to try this. Huh? Was the estimate made? Uh, increase it to 9. Ah, clever! Huh? I, I let it to 9 and then I just, okay, yeah, I'm gonna let the cutscene, the start opening, so starting up. roll, and then okay, I need to change anything, so I need to change. I didn't even go into room 6. You can hear Almega smiling. I can see Almega smiling. <laughs> I mean, smile! He's not, okay, let's give it, he's not smiling, but he is giggling. <laughs> I just didn't even go into room 6. I didn't even go into room 6, I don't even know why. For a fun fact, um, I haven't done a run this bad of 100% since 2014. Good old classic Bowie. Probably would have been quicker to die and go and walk back out up top normally, rather than how I'm doing it. Now it's going to get really dark, so enjoy the brutality that is this next scene. Play the flute, Will.
Also, Will confirmed immune to fire. Yeah. Yeah, he's got flame retardant hair. But it's the, uh, it's the, it's the reaching and it's the... Kara! Kara! Let me just watch a man burn. Why does everyone hate each other? Why am I sexually attracted to a man who just sets someone else on fire? That's a good, 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 good question. That's a good question. You always know there's no reason to hate. There's no reason to hate. Okay, menu boss, let's do this. That was a good menu. Hi Jackal, bye Jackal. Okay, so this is a really annoying fight. So the reason that this dungeon is so hard is because obviously earlier I mentioned that when you defeat a boss, you get all the upgrades that you missed. This is the longest time you go in a game without getting an upgrade. It's like two fights for the first um, boss. It's, again, another two for the next. Uh, it's one for the next after that. And then after you do Sandfanger, you go through like three whole dungeons. What you got? Yeah, Mount, Temple, Ankle, Wet, and this. So you've got three, temp three dungeons without, uh, without, without a boss. Um... Good start, dude. Uh, so I, I will die in two hits to, to, the, to this woman, so I need to be safe. Um, the way she works is when you hit her once, she splits up, and then she will um, spread um, into these ghosts and attack you. You've got to move out of the ring. Now, I use aura. You know, there's, there's no... I'm not, gonna, not ever going to man mode this and not use aura because, again, die in two hits. And they, and they heat seek you, as you can see. So... The way this works as well is that when she gets down to below, when she gets below half health, she will uh, either continue doing this, a spread, or she will go into a ring that's really, really, uh, and the ring will spin, and one particular ghost is the one you want to hit to reform it, which is the fastest one. The way you know which one you've got is if she, if she moves her own body, like around, she will spin, um, yeah, she'll become a ring. If she fires a, a lightning bolt, she'll become a ring. If she... Um, basically brings down the uh, boulders from the ceiling. That's when she spreads. So let's see. That was boulders, so spread. This is also the slower one of the two. Rings are very, very quick, and these are slow as balls. Wow, double spread. Am I going to get the seven spreads? This is the question. Oh, ring. Missed it. Great. Fuck my life. What the hell? I didn't face that way, I pressed the right button. Okay. Uh, you have 29 minutes, mate. <laughs> You have 30 minutes. <laughs> I'll make this. Did you check for your SNES? Alright. I wish I had a Super Game Boy 2, because they, they, they play PAL as well. What? Super Game Boy 2, they play PAL as well. Oh, you mean Superboy? That's what I meant, Super Boys 2, yeah. Just... Right. Superboy. Uh, Superboy 2 plays PAL, not, not the first one. This one also plays PAL, not just in every game. I guess we could try. Otherwise, I'll, I'll, I'll just get the wrong. Oh, it's my nice Super Boy. Uh, can we connect the Super Boy before I think, worst case, it does something to the card, not the console. And you, you will notice it. Yeah. It's like either not gonna run or run too fast if there's an issue with it, probably. Whoa! Okay, I'll take it. Man mode. 
Wow, so many spreads today, dude. No, she's... So, with all... Well, with, I say with all. With five mystic statues found, um, the flute, Will's father, tells Will to come now to the Tower of Babel, which is where the previous um, expedition ended. So... Um, that's where we'll find our sixth and final mystic statue. Why do they only give you 39 health? Because the, first, the last one's in a line you have to wait in. Oh yeah, the, the, the line, yeah. But yeah, the reason the community don't want to do it, I questioned this myself when I joined, was that because it's two minutes of waiting in line, or a, a bunch of time of waiting in line, for no, if there's no skill input, you just wait. It's kind of like the whole waiting for fucking... The cards in Bait and Kato's 100%, I guess. There's nothing, you don't have to do anything, you just have, have, have to sit there. And... Yeah, but every game you have to do something where it doesn't revolve skill at all. <laughs> Such as? I think of most things, you know, when it comes to speedruns, especially when it comes to RPG speedruns. Yeah, but there's, there's literally no input. You, say you just stand there and wait. It's not even like you're doing it for a reason in terms of like trying to wait out specific things, you can do something fast, it's just, you're just waiting there that just to tick a like cherry picking, like, oh, we don't want to wait two minutes, so we'll just take that out of the definition. That's exactly what I told told the community. Yeah, that's all it is, is they're just cherry picking what they don't want to do. <sighs> well, then we shouldn't have to go get this gem, because this is too far out of the way, and it's Well, that's different, because you need all 50 to do the final thing, <laughs> but, like, I don't know. Oh, it's no. like a link to the past, like Zelda, link to the past. Well, we don't want to go out this way to get a heart, so. Because this sucks and we gotta do this, so let's uh. Don't wanna do the shovel minigame? Exactly, it's just. That's exactly what. We don't wanna do the shovel minigame. The we thing don't... is, the shovel minigame requires you to, you know, do inputs and get lucky. Like, yeah, well, that's all it is. You're it's doing just something. Pure luck. But you're still doing something. Like, in this, you're literally just waiting, just standing still. Well, you're just standing still for two minutes. In Earthbound, you're standing still for three minutes and then you do an input. For what? When you're uh, waiting to get into the uh, the one place, you but gotta do, wait three minutes. But does it to have any implication for the actual game? Well, this time it gives you the last heart. Yeah, but for Earthbound, does it do? Does it, is it like you have to do that well, yeah, to continue? Yeah, you have to do it. You have to, to. You have to do it. You don't have to do that. <laughs> I, that's their reasoning. That you don't have to do it. You don't have to do one hundred percent. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's like if I ever was going to do 100% Dragon Quest VIII 3DS. There was one thing that requires six days to complete. What's that? The last one of the photo quests. Requires taking a picture for six days. Once yeah, a day for six days in order to get one of the photos. That's basically me saying, hey, that's, I want to take that out too, just for convenience reasons. <laughs> but the thing is, you earn, yeah, yeah, I mean, I agree. It's not yeah, true. Let's always have bottom titles in your own. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing to one with the other thing. I know, I'm just exactly saying. It's, uh, it just sounds like, oh, well, we don't want to do it, so we'll take it out. It's just, I mean, that's the definition. So. Yeah, if it was any percent, yeah, you know, yeah, no, do this it. This is it, it's time for the one cycle cast off. Nailed it! This is, no, this is considered 100%. We also do skip character abilities. Yeah, we do skip the character or the character abilities. They are not considered in the one hundred percent category. This is again true. This is again true. So it's basically one hundred percent red gems. <laughs> any percent. That's pretty much the name of the category. Any percent red jewels. Yeah. Any percent all red jewels. That's all hundred percent usually are in most games anyways, is whatever someone defines it to be, or community defines mm. it to be. It's like two or ever more, but I just don't do everything. Yeah. Oh, such a fucking sick input. In RPGs it's always that's that way. Such anyways. a good fight, yeah. man. The only time you can ever have a true one Yeah, so that basically what I was doing there was actually like attack yeah, a um, attack animation right. cancelling by turning the other way, so I was attacking the and then changing my direction. That was a really, really good fight. Well, the only way you can ever have a true hundred percent in an RPG is for a game to define hundred percent. Like With the counter, yeah. Final Fantasy X-2. There's a defined one hundred percent. After that, it's just you know, 
Kinos percent, you know? <laughs> oh, this is what I define it as. <laughs> I agree with that. Especially for <laughs> okay, so we're going to rejoin our vampire friends. This time they have got a hitbox on their bodies, so I can't really um, be as wayward with my attacking. But, of course, we have um, Shadow, so we can do the attack cancel aura, um, which allows us to obviously have our hitbox as we sink into the ground. And these guys can get bodied. Or I can I take that. a hit anyway. I love how they have the new sprite, the blue cave, and then they just do one attack and they change to the old sprite. Slow fight. Really slow fight. You shouldn't really let them get. But well, I mean, the guy can do whatever he wants, but because he can just move from any to one, from one point to any point on the map. The woman moves in like coordinate to coordinate, um, so she should be uh, doable. Okay, so if we're talking about RNG again, welcome to Dark Fanger. Um, you can do this fight in two egg lays. Um, I won't probably get an egg lay until he has two hits left, which will completely not. Completely nullify the point of it happening, so, so we'll, we'll see how good it is. <laughs> good ass video game, dude. Good ass video game, dude. Close enough to do his left. I could have got another three hits in there, so he. That was one. If you're gonna get nothing, if you're only, only gonna get one egg lay, that was one turn too late. But uh, that's fine. It's, it could have been worse. It could have been, could have been nothing but uh, loops and jumps. Why am I going right? Fuck me. You may have noticed as well that Kara's disappeared. Okay, it's like we, we, we got this. She, she's gonna be fine. Because she couldn't run, that's why. <laughs> what is 100%? That is a good question. Uh, yeah. Hmm! My god, this time. So there's one boss left. We just fought her. Only this time she won't one-shot us. So that's, that's nice to know. That's nice to know. Go for it. Suck, Mummy Queen. Raise it up. Jesus. Fuck me. Too late. Too early. So honest opinion has to run. Terrible. So we're so good there, we can't always be on the top of our game. Did we find the gem though? We did, yes. Oh, nice. Where was it? Uh, it was the one of the girls in the native village after you unstone one of them, you speak to the middle one. Gives you a gem. Just didn't do it. More like MILF Queen. Yeah, that's about right. So that's the end of the... Uh, Tower of Babel. Um, we're going to head on back to Dow Village, though, because we are missing three. 
three red jewels. Let's get those, shall we? Let's grab one there. Get those. One hundred and four. One hundred and four, you say? Mm -hmm. Okay, so guess how many snakes I can hit between seventy-seven and one hundred and three snakes in this mini game. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Ninety-six. Guess how many snakes I'm going to hit? Actually, you can hit less than seventy-seven, but um, you only need to hit forty and then just leave them. But I'm going to. I don't know why they make the headers in games. Why are making such bullshit after this? The what, sorry? Which, which one? Alright. Oh, oh, just just imagine this game when you, have, when you can hit bad snakes. And less than 40 if you get that on you. Or like less than the amount you need. And it takes a fucking one minute and a half I mean, this also takes forever, but at least you can fail it. Yeah, you can't really fail it if you just. Yeah. 87. Numskull with the 87 call. Good shout, sir. Well done, Numskull. Okay, that's. 50 red jewels. There is a lot of slowdown in this dungeon. This fight, this dungeon is all about managing the slowdown and killing enemies as you go. Oh, I didn't hit him three times, but I didn't. Slow down, fuck my life. Fuck my life. Okay. There's one hit here you have to take just because the uh, pit, the, the dude's just going to be a dickhead and he's going to stand in the way. This guy here. Oh no, he didn't do it that time. He went to the right because I was so slow. If you're faster, he will just kind of move straight down to the left and hit you because... Screw you, basically. Okay, so. Time for Metal Gear Solid Arm. Um, he's back from Soul Laser. A little bit harder, harder, harder this time. He is harder in IOG. Like, this is completely free. Not as easy as it looks, mate. At least in Soul Blade you die if you fuck up. You do in this as well. If you, if you, because I'm trying to stay in a certain position and trying to get too high hits off. If you miss the attack cycle, you'll be hit. If you don't do, do, dodge in time, you'll be hit. If you move too far up, you get caught on the um, conveyor belt and go up, and then you're just fucked on the other side. Fair enough. I've died more times to this guy than I have to to solid in the first one. Personally, personally, I'm pretty sure people do find other solid arm harder. But in that one, you just do that with your sword. Just let him get hit. <laughs> he at least fights back in this. Uh, so we found this is Almond, Will's father. Um, so he, he didn't make it, unfortunately. Uh, <coughs> I may not have com exactly completely explained exactly what's going on in the game, but um, uh, Seth explained it when he was Riverson in that in that cave. Um, he was saying that um, the, the light of a comet is basically distorting the world, um, and basically there's a comet that's kind of like going past Earth, and it's distorting everything about um, Gaia and time. Hence, it's two names: illusion of time and illusion of Gaia. Um, that's causing monsters to appear, it's causing all the negativity and all the strange things in the world is thanks to this comet that's kind of g going by Earth. Um, that's where Dark Gaia is. So we are going to uh, fly to the comet in space and find <laughs> fight Dark Gaia. Nearly as good as ever made. Yeah. And the reason we can do this is because we need the six, mag the my the six mystic statues. Um, on the bottom floor of this... Um, of this uh, tower, we ran into that little laser door, and we had a we found a crystal ring, a dark crystal ring. 
a dark blue crystal ring. And then we found one on the Incan uh, boat on the Queen's finger. A light blue crystal ring, a light one and a dark one, signifying the rings of the light and dark knights. Um, the comet is called a spirit, but it's an unwelcome spirit. So this is, it basically is bringing evolution too hard. I'm um, too fast, the comet. Um, and the light and dark knights of Gaia basically um, forge, basically um, forge together, came one with the light knights, and with the six mystic statues as well, it releases the dark knights ultimate power of Firebird. You may remember, you may remember Firebird from the first one, which we used to defeat Death Toll. Because Blaze is a beast. So this comet, this fight is to stop the comet from rapidly um, evolving the Earth when it shouldn't be, because um, it's causing it to do it in a, in a dark way, in a negative way, and causing demons to spawn and all that kind of stuff. So, time to fly to a comet and destroy Dark Gaia. This fight's pretty cool. Two stage fight, not three, but two stages. I like how I didn't actually attack him first time. I missed the cycle. Wasn't even thinking to attack. What is wrong with me today? What's really cool here as well is we can do an attack or a cancel to uh, get the first possible frame hit. This is not the best way to do this by the way. Not, not. This can be done in three cycles, so allow me to focus just a second. Got the five hit. Okay, cool. I need one more five hit and the three cycle is confirmed. You need to hit them five, five and four to get the, uh, the three cycle. It saves about 30 seconds if you get it. Between 20 and 30, but because um, he, he opens his mouth on different, uh, he just randomly between uh, three and four, three to five of those uh, side lightning um, beams. Four hits. Shouldn't need to heal at all. What the hell is wrong with me? Time. Got the three cycle, which is a lovely way to end it after. I started well by m m nailing the uh, manip and. Edward's Castle and the Incan Trial, then there was about an hour and a half of questionable play. And we ended it up quite nicely with a three cycle, so. Given my track record, I'll take that. What is the time? Uh, 2.32. Yeah, what the estimate? 2.40. Didn't you want it to be 2.20? I did. <laughs> and Mega's a crucible. And, and, and if I wanted to be safe with myself, I would have, I would have said 2.25. At worst, I wanted 2.30, which I was overestimate for that as well. I'm <laughs> overestimate, but it still counts. Over, over every one of your estimates, except for Vegas. <laughs> He's still under some kind of estimate, so... <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's still, so, it, it just means estimate, so it's about, right? It's not like you need to go under it. Which is true. But yeah, there you have it. That is, uh... That is Illusion of Gaia. 100 maybe percent 
98%. In a questionable time. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. I, 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 this is the first speed game I ever, I ever learned back in 2013. So, um, I could, I would argue that it's the one I know, know, the, know the most. But given how much I forgot today, that's. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame you for not believing me. So, yeah. Cool. Up next is Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow or something like that. Uh, Donald and Maui Mallard. Donald and Maui Mallard. <laughs> Donald. In my mind. Great. Okay, cool. Oh, if it works. If it works. If it works. Uh, it wouldn't it shouldn't work on the on on the Superboy one, but where is the Pals Nets? Does anyone know? We don't have that one. Oh I thought yeah, I thought I thought someone said said they did. What are these brutal I wanted, to, I wanted to bring one, but since I brought the Wii and the GameCube and everything, I just didn't have enough space to take it out. It's just my age showing you. I turned 27 right. and then, yeah. <laughs> we'll manage, we'll manage. There will be some duck gaming. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. If not that duck game, but the duck game. It's always, always can be played. It will be the duckiest. There will be a game, there will be ducks. I don't give a duck. And maybe we'll go fast, we'll see. Maybe we'll go fast, but yes. Or if the PAL version works, I guess we'll go fast in slow motion. <laughs> Sweet. Right, I'll leave it there, guys. I will... I mean, the, this ending is really good, but it's like 25,000 years long, so... Um, I'll leave it on for as long as people want to watch it for, I guess. Oh. Yeah, Will finally is reunited with his parents. And he sees the world grown up, and time and space is, um, uh, restored to how it actually is. And you'll see the world as it should be afterwards. Yeah. Here's watching, guys. Cheers, you Cheers for the GGs as well, everyone. Very much appreciated. 23,000 years long time. Yeah. That also works. Alright. That's good. Oh yeah, so I guess I'll just let this run. Can you give me the game, please?